Brianna and I are going to go to the, the Botanical Gardens today. What is the name of it though? What's it actually called? I think it's called the Botanical Gardens or like the City Park Botanical Gardens. All right, City Park Botanical Gardens. I don't know, we're gonna go look at plants and flowers and stuff. I could be in England right now. This is just so darn classy. <laughs> yeah, not New Orleans. No, I know, it's true. <laughs> These are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Would you say they're, that roses are your favorite flower? I don't think so, but they're nice. I like them. <laughs> Bree's Bri trying to smell the roses. It smells like a rose. It really does. It's not like your traditional rose. It's very, it's more aromatic. Yeah. How can you improve on this? Roses are like the lions and tigers of the plant world when you go to a zoo, aren't they? Yeah, I guess so. Pink ones smell different than red ones. They do? Yeah. You can smell the pink in them. Oh, wow. Different, right? Wow, it's like truly. sweeter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like the, it doesn't smell like the roses that you get in the grocery store or the florist that I, at least not the ones that I've gotten before. Whoa, what is that? It looks like fruit. What are those? I don't know, fruit. Okay, so we're going, we're just sticking with fruit? Well, yeah. Whoa. It looks like a giant cabbage. It's cool, it like made its own pot. It's really hard. Did I make those marks? No, oh, I hurt the plant. Try it again, I don't think you did that. You're gonna make me do it another time? Well, I don't think that's you. I'll do it in a different place. Okay. Totally me. I'm, oh, wow. I'm ruining this plant. All right, don't touch the plant anymore. Oh my gosh. I told you they were awesome art. How did you get one? Because you have a lamp that's just like that. You have that exact thing. Yeah, my mom and my friend Michael are friends with the artist, so he made me one. His original design was from his Weber grill. That's where he got the wings. He just like cut his grill. Huh. I think it's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I've never seen them installed. He told me they were gonna be in City Park somewhere. Wow, look, there's like one, two, three, four. Should we go in there? I think I'm going to Japan. Looks all Asian-y. Bamboo. Yeah, Japanese in particular. Yeah, Oh Japanese wow, look at this. Orleans. It's an authentic Japanese garden. Bamboo is supposed to be like unusually strong, right? really difficult to break. Yeah, I think it's really strong because it's bendable. It's not like rigid. I played a video game once that looked like this. <laughs> yeah, but you could jump on the roof. Like yeah, that. yeah, you could jump on the roof on the video game. You see what it's made of? Bamboo. Do a lot of people in Japan have a garden like this? I think it's either an art form or meditation or something. This is like a bonsai pine tree. At least that's what I like to think. I really don't know. Maybe it's just like some type of normal pine tree. I think that bonsai trees, and my source is the Karate Kid, um, I think that they you just like cut trees and you keep them trimmed up for like a long time. So you could have like a 500 year old tree if you kept it up, but it would just fit in like a regular a pot. I always thought they were a different kind of tree and that's what made them small, but I have no source at all. So Karate Kid is better than no source. Best movie of all time. Wow, look at this. It's a greenhouse and it's there's like tons of cacti. Cacti. Wow. Cacti. So neat. Well, this is wonderful. Cacti are known for being able to retain water for like, I don't know, for I guess for a long period of time because they live in desert environments. So they have to be able to uh, presumably manage their own, their own water. How do they do that though? Do you know? As far as I know, it's because they're so fat and so they have a lot more flesh uh, like per unit of surface area than most plants do. And your surface area is where you would lose your water so they just keep it in longer because they have more inside of them. This is my favorite cactus in this room. Uh, I don't know what kind it is. I just really like it because it looks like it's wearing a little crown of flowers. They have a train track here. Now, I don't see a train running, but that's secondary. These houses you see are examples of New Orleans architecture, and I will tell you that the thing that I've noticed so much about being in New Orleans is the architecture. It truly is so diverse. Now, that, that's for a lot of reasons. A lot of it's tradition. You have just different periods, but a lot of it, too, is because there's been, I, I would assume beyond Katrina, there's been extensive damage throughout the last few centuries here, right? Yeah, there have been floods. There was one really big fire. With that, you get a lot of different, I mean, people have to rebuild and, and you get just all of these different 
examples of architecture right next to each other. I believe uh, Lafitte's blacksmith shop, which this is a model of, is the oldest surviving building in New Orleans. It's from 1795. This part of the garden is supposed to be uh, demonstrating edible plants or something. You know? <laughs> Sweet. But I don't know if that means we can eat them. Wait a minute. Displays vegetables and fruit crops planted with herbs and ornamentals. Yeah, you can keep talking. I've got it on video that it was already on the ground. And I'm gonna eat it. <sighs> Definitely a fertile orange. What do you think? That's uh, sour. It's like a farm. Yeah. Dill, the spice? Yeah, I like that. Dill is amazing. That's what it looks like? It's romaine lettuce. It, that's what I thought. Because I eat it all the time. That's what it looks like. So when it's not bunched up like it is at the grocery store and spreads out, that's what it looks like. Are these big ones romaine lettuce too? I don't know. I don't think so. No, those are cauliflower. No, they're not cauliflower. Yes, they are. Cauliflower are like white broccoli. Where do you see that? I mean, don't look too hard. This? Oh, it's hidden. Come on. That was behind a leaf. That's behind a leaf. There. I didn't know mustard was a plant. Yeah. Malabar spinach. Hmm. When you look closely at it, the leaves look right. I had no idea it grew like a vine like that. It was nice. I liked it. It's, you know, it's like a, a walk in the park. Yeah. It was lovely. It was nice to have it to ourselves. I know. Very the peaceful. The entire place. It was great. Let us know what you liked. What was your favorite plant wife? That's got to be the oddest question I've ever asked. Yeah. In a video. <laughs>